Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a 3.68 pound chuck roast and we are gonna make shredded beef. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin and today we are doing shredded beef. This is a special request from Rick from our Facebook group, the Kingsford Stockade 49 inch smoker and grill. Please, if you are learning how to smoke or are a pretty experienced smoker somewhere in the middle, feel free to join our group as we are all learning and helping each other become better at the backyard pit. All right, so this is gonna be super easy. I'm gonna cook this like a brisket for the most part. Uh, the two caveats I'll change up is I will use tin foil instead of butcher's paper and I'll probably put some type of liquid uh, in the tin foil pan to help really steam and moist and create that shreddable beef at the end of this. So I have the Kingsford Stockade firing up right now. We're going to season up this beef and then we're going to put it on the smoker and we're going to get right to it. Couple of quick show notes. Uh, you see the firebox is smoking, steaming from it. That is from uh, Pam Spray. I oiled it, some rust spots to try to get them off. So nothing to be concerned about there. Preventative measures. I put some Neil Sirop, uh Tasty Beef on there, or Tasty Sear. It's his beef rub. And normally I would like to leave it on there for an hour but I'm trying to get this thing cooked. So I'm throwing it on before really letting the spices set. Now, if I was doing a traditional uh, Texas crunch style or Texas brisket style, I would definitely season it maybe even the night before to really let those uh, salt, pepper, all the other seasonings really soak in. But because I'm putting this in tin foil, and I'm gonna put some fluids in there, I'm gonna reapply the rub. I'm not as worried about the set as I would be a traditional butcher paper wrapped brisket style uh, chuck roast, poor man's brisket, or traditional brisket. So that's why you saw those quick little differences. Regarding the wood, this Texas style post oak I special ordered, it smells sweet and I'm not used to it compared to our Maryland. I don't know if that's just me all amped up. Uh, my Texas folks, please tell me, is that something that you normally get from this Texas style post oak? But to me, there's definitely like a, a, a whiff of sweet smell to this. So I'm, I'm super excited. Temperature has been around 250 to 275 for most of this cook. Uh, I'm starting to like the color. You guys know the drill. I normally have probes all over, but this is a chuck roast and I normally don't get stressed out about them. So I just, do this one by look and feel and now we're gonna check to see you know I still want to get this a little bit more bark build up we're at the three hour mark uh, internal is not quite where I want it to be but I got to refill a little water in my pan there it's looking good but I do want more bark formation I want to get into the 150s before I 
put it in the tin foil. the type of reaction you want to get when you serve your food to somebody. Sheer excitement and what better way on somebody's birthday to give them great barbecue. That's what we're striving for. All right, folks, I want to change up the tasting portion a little bit for you. You've seen me eat a ton of times, uh, but I had to do it in a sneaky way, so I didn't have a microphone, so sorry about the audio. Anyway, this turned out unbelievable you saw the reaction of the sandwich if you don't want to go to all that trouble making that tomato relish the beef itself just shred it and then that uh, horseradish mayo sauce if you don't want to do horseradish you could have done 50 50 uh, a big stone mustard and a mayonnaise base those two together would have been awesome also as something just to change it up but the beef that neil serap rub on it it just tasted so good. You saw how tender, you saw how moist it was. Shredded beef is definitely the way to go. And as you saw, uh, I could have shredded the whole thing, but I have a big uh, butcher's knife. Why not just get it out and chop it up? It's all the same, all right? Now this is all part of the process of becoming better in the backyard, experimenting with new things. 
making people have that wow moment when they try your barbecue. So don't be afraid to join our group and get in the conversation. That's the Kingsford Stockade 49 Smoker and Grill. Now don't forget, I'm gonna put a couple playlists right here and here so you can enhance your barbecue game and get better behind the pit. You guys, as always, have been wonderful and I'll see you soon.